My name is uh, Manapo, Manapo Bhikkhu, and I am a Buddhist monk. A bhikkhu is a fully ordained Buddhist monk. The word literally means one who depends on arms. Not these kinds of arms, but arms as in gifts of food. A typical day will begin at half past five. So a bell, a big bell will be rung at half past five, and then hopefully everybody gets up. And then at 6 a.m., there is what we call morning puja, and that is an hour of chanting followed by meditation. Buddhist meditation is a combination of samatha and vipassana. Samatha means calming, stilling the mind, making it peaceful and, most importantly, clear. Vipassana means insight, and this is the goal of Buddhism. So we are developing a concentrated mind that is able to see things clearly and then let go. Then at uh, half past seven, we have chores, and these go on for an hour. An important part of the monastic discipline is, is looking after the place in which you live. You would usually find monasteries to be very clean and well-kept places. Then at about half past eight, I will have a period of personal time. Enlightenment is when we fully understand the Four Noble Truths. The first noble truth is that this ordinary life of ours involves suffering. The second noble truth is that our suffering is caused by our craving and our desires. The third noble truth is that this suffering can be ended by letting go of craving. And the fourth noble truth is the Noble Eightfold Path, the Buddha's teachings which lead to the ending of suffering. Then at 11, we eat our one meal of the day, and we have to eat that before 12. And that is a ceremony. So we monks have to formally receive the food, so we don't just go and help ourselves. It's all given to us. I've been a Buddhist monk for almost 17 years, and I haven't had any money during that time, not even a penny. So that means that we are completely dependent upon the generosity of others. As a monk, being dependent on what people give to me, I am grateful for whatever food is offered. However, I choose to be a vegetarian. A central teaching in Buddhism is, is compassion, wishing all living beings to be free of suffering. In the uh, process of producing meat, there is obviously an enormous amount of suffering in the animal world, and so we want to help animals by stopping eating meat. As a Buddhist monk, I don't have many possessions. There are eight basic requisites which we are supposed to have, which includes three robes, there is the arms bowl, there is a water filter, a razor, a belt, and a needle and thread. Buddhist monks' robes are usually uh, yellow, or orange, or brown. And in ancient India, yellow was the colour of renunciation. The word renunciation means to leave behind. So when we wear this, this yellow robe, it's the same colour as a leaf that's about to fall from a tree. It signifies that we have left behind the so-called ordinary life, the rat race. So we leave behind our money, our wealth, our family and, and, and relationships. We also leave behind our hair and our normal clothes. I shave my head for the same reason that I wear the robe, so it's another symbol of renunciation. Hair is often closely connected with vanity. People spend an awful lot of time on their hair and their appearance. By shaving off our hair, 
we're saying that physical appearance and, and beauty are not important when it comes to the pursuit of, of real happiness. On the day that I became a novice monk, I was given the name Manapo. Manapo is a Pali word, so Pali is the, the language of the ancient Buddhist texts. It means the likeable one. So whether my teacher found me likeable or whether it's something I need to work on, I'm not quite sure. During the late afternoon, we have time to ourselves and it will be similar to the morning period. So walking meditation, sitting meditation, perhaps some private study, reading of Buddhist texts. Walking meditation is very similar to sitting meditation in that we focus on just one thing. So we, we have a number of paths, a number of walking paths around the monastery and they're just straight paths and we walk back and forth. And as we walk, we focus very carefully on the soles of our feet touching the ground. As a bhikkhu, I am not married, I don't have a girlfriend or a partner, and I am not allowed to get married. So at 8pm we have evening puja, which is more or less the same as, as morning puja, but the chanting's a little bit different. After evening puja, we have personal time again. And then I go to bed, usually between 11 and 12. So as a monk, I don't get as much sleep as most people. I do get more than what the Buddha actually recommended. He recommended four hours. And the reason why we don't need to sleep as much is because meditation practice, in part, fulfills the function of, of, of sleeping and dreaming because it can be a very restful activity. The thing I find most rewarding about being a bhikkhu is that it gives my life a purpose. One of the most difficult things I've found about life before was the sense that it had no purpose. I realised that I'd been born, I was going to live a bit, and then I was going to die. What's the point in that? But as a monk, I've given my life a purpose, and that purpose is to reach enlightenment, which means to free my mind from all greed, hatred, and delusion. I might be some way off, but at least I have a purpose.